Nestled south of downtown Columbus, German Village is home to a number of local favorites. From authentic German eats to mom and pop shops gaining great attention. Built in 1820, historic German Village was heavily colonized by German immigrants, making German descent one third of the Columbus population. Due to its rich history of culture and immigration, German Village was added to the National Register of Historical Places in 1974. Somewhere between this historic town and raucous downtown, you will find the world-famous Bookloft, capturing the eyes of literature fanatics from all over the world. My name is Carl Jacobson. I'm one of the original owners of the store. Uh, we started here with uh, only five rooms. And as other shops that were here at the time left, we took over the space. Uh, we started here in 1977, in February, so we've been here 38 years, almost 39. Originally a section of general stores, a saloon, and a cinema house, this pre-Civil War building now encompasses an entire block, spanning three stories of real estate. The book loft was founded in 1977 by Carl Jacobsma and Roger Tompkins. So my name is Debbie Boggs. I've worked at independent bookstores my whole adult life. Uh, the book loft is the last big independent left in town. There are some smaller stores, there's some specialty stores, but this is the last big all-purpose independent bookstore that Columbus has left. Um, it's been here 38 years with the original owners. And this door is a treasure, I'm just saying. With the friendly, personalized staff, it's no wonder that the book loft has been at the center point of Columbus's tourist attractions for over 35 years. We have, uh, we've gotten more and more uh, people, uh, authors signings uh, here too. Just uh, in the last couple of years, we've had quite a few and some fairly wow. big name ones like David Sedaris and uh, we had uh, OSU coach here with his book a few weeks ago. So. Um, do you think you could talk about like your business motto and like how uh, maybe it's about some advertising or you know what you do to get your name out kind of? We um, we have never advertised heavily but we spent all our advertisement budget on uh, producing a map of German Village that we could give out free. Um, so it's taken up a huge amount of advertisement budget. We have we do some co cooperative advertisement with the German Village Society and other German Village business group here and uh, we go in with them to do our, our advertising for the most part. With an astounding 32 rooms piled full of books, you are sure to find the literature you want. Selections range from philosophy to cooking, to adult classics and even children's literature, as well as anything in between. But just how many books are in this establishment? 32 rooms, they say about a half a million books, nobody really knows for sure. I don't think anybody's ever really counted. Have you guys had any uh, famous authors or anything that have visited? Any um, good We stories? actually just had Urban Meyer just a few weeks ago. Um, David Sedaris visits pretty frequently whenever he's got a new book out. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, God, I can't think of his name. Climb, who did Ready Player One. He was here recently. Ari Salvatore has been here recently. And we do a lot of local author events, lots of them. We support local uh, local authors. Um, they, we sell their books on consignment and um, they uh, do signings here or book launchings, you know, little book parties where they invite their friends and family, their church. So we do, you know, we do a lot to support, provide a venue for local authors. Inside, shoppers find themselves lost and mesmerized in this maze of rooms. Is this your guys' first time at the book loft? No. No, I, I've come a lot. Me and my friends come a lot. We love it here. What kind of books do you look for? Honestly, really any books. Uh, we all like mysteries or just the um, bestsellers. We also love the kids section down here. So. Why do you like the book loft so much? One well, German village is just really cool. 
it's like cozy and a good place to come for with friends and two it's like rooms and rooms and rooms of um, ending books so yeah when you really like reading it's a place to come get lost it can feel magical sometimes so in an era of technology many bookstores have been pushed away with the rise in popularity of online shopping and ebooks we don't do any advertising. It's uh, the people that come here. It's almost exclusively word of mouth, and the people that leave here saying, "Oh my God, it was so great!" And I just wanted to say how um, important I feel it is for people to support local businesses and especially independent bookstores, which are kind of an endangered species these days. As of 2014, 50 percent of U.S. adults reportedly owned an e-reader or tablet likely the reason for the closing of four out of every five small bookstores in the U.S. You may be able to get it a little cheaper at Amazon, but you can't open the book, you can't look at the pictures, you can't take your kid by the hand and sit on the, the floor and read a book to her at Amazon. You know, this is a unique and special place. It has a great feel to it. The people who work here love books. And, and if you don't support it by spending money here, even though you might pay a couple bucks more than you would on Amazon, then you're gonna, you won't have this. And I think this is important to, to keep. In a paperless world, the book loft is an oasis for readers, dreamers, and page turners. Your story awaits.